Nicole Chinisi, Laboratory Director of the Dr. Jane Hoffman Wildlife Genetics Institute, uh, home of tick testing in Pennsylvania. So most people in the United States are at risk of exposure to a tick bite in just their backyard. Um, so backyard, you're not thinking about a tick bite, you're more thinking about a tick bite when you're out hiking or you're out in a state park. But most individuals will actually be exposed in their backyards cleaning up leaf litter, mowing the lawn, or even gardening. Tick testing will give you a result of determining your risk and exposure to a tick-borne disease essentially before symptoms would begin. So the moment we receive your tick in for testing, within three business days, you would have your results knowing if you've been exposed to a disease. Unlike human testing, you have to wait three to four weeks after exposure to a tick bite to even have an accurate testing. Tick testing utilizes a 99.9% .9 DNA analysis, so it's targeting the specific bacteria that puts you at risk of a disease, as opposed to human testing is relying on your immune system response, and that doesn't always occur to um, the bacterial infection if it's hiding from your immune system. Ticks can be submitted dead or alive. They can be broken and crushed into pieces. We're gonna break them up anyway for our analysis. Um, they could be just the shield of the tick, just the body of the tick. Um, they could be exposed to alcohol. It does not matter. If you have multiple ticks attached to you or your pets, you may submit those multiple ticks together with one ID number or one cutter kit. Once you receive your results, uh, you'll have indication whether your tick tested positive or negative. This is not diagnosing you with a disease. This is just letting you know that the tick that you had was carrying this disease. You could then utilize this information to bring to your physician or veterinarian for further treatment or diagnosis.